Inside this house behind me is my adopted Hawaiian family for the next 70, 72 hours. When you think of Hawaii, you think of beautiful beaches and luxury resorts, but I don't care about any of that. I want to discover the real Hawaiian culture. So I visited Hawaii for three days to learn what it means to be American, and this is my final day. Maka, okay, this is just a reminder that I'm part of your family for the next 24 hours. <sighs> Don't remind me. Two days ago, I met my adopted family, and they threw this haole into the deep end of the real Hawaii. <laughs> I made my first lei, partied at a Hawaiian concert, and even cooked a pig underground. So for my final day, I have to pass the final tests in the wild. That means exploring the jungle, surfing, and even something with volcanoes. But first, let's see how the meat we cooked yesterday in an underground oven turned out. Ready? One, two, three. You can smell them already, yeah? Can't wait to see what it looks like under. <laughs> wow, look at that. There it is. Fresh as you get. Yeah, straight from the ground. Mm -hmm. Of course, mm -hmm. you're gonna salt it up a little more and stuff. Mm -hmm. but that really breaks apart. And then traditionally, dude, when we have a guest, we give this to them and they eat it. <laughs> For good luck. I've been here long enough to know that's a joke. <laughs> so there's about 100 pounds of meat there, which should approximately feed 400 people. I don't know how many people are gonna eat all this today. I'm glad that you got to experience this part. Kind of a, yeah, that was really cool. Um, we're gonna have a, a small little nice platter for you to kind of sample in and kind of explain a little bit of the significance of all of that. And nice, thank you so much okay. for yeah, let's do it. this experience. Yeah, we go. It's raining a little bit. Said it rains a lot in Hilo, right? It rains a lot. I think it rains 300 something days out of the year. 300 days out of the year? Yeah. Hopefully it clears up. If not, you know, you gotta dance, learn how to dance in the rain. It's such a positive outlook. The, the rain is a blessing and learn to live with it. There's a, there's a saying, Ue kalani ola kahonua, which means the sky cries, the earth lives. I'd be like, I'm going, I'm going for the shelter. All right, going through the country. This is where we're gonna have the lunch. Yeah, and you're gonna see some different Hawaiian plants, some stuff that they're cultivating. Throughout my stay in Hawaii, I kept hearing about their deep connection to the land, but I wanted to see it for myself. That's why we're going to Uncle Kavika's farm, Aina University. But as you'll see, it's a little bigger than just a simple backyard farm. So we're at Uncle's Aina, which is land, and I think we're gonna have a big lunch with a lot of people to eat the food that we made in the emu. Look at me using all these Hawaiian words, huh? We'll just have a little introduction, I guess. When I was a child, I saw this, you know, this drawing, this artwork, this depiction of Ahopua'a living, meaning like from the mountains to the sea, mm. utilizing the resources within. And everybody had their own kuleana or responsibilities. Some of them doing uh, cultural crops, I'm doing canoe making. What we're trying to do is just kind of recreate this. We're doing a little yeah. tour of the land. It's uh, cool to see how every part of the land kind of has a different purpose yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's so community oriented. Some women see sustainability as very sexy and manly from men. So, you know, you got nice flowers, but yet you can have a salad. I got it, got it. And a home, there you go. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. I'm gonna try it. Try them. Try them. Cool. Man, we got a lot of avocado trees nice. Oh, nice. Look at that. You want to try? Yeah. It's like a game. Yeah. Oh, oh, you got it. Oh. There you go. It's avocado, wow. <laughs> we couldn't catch avocado. anything uh, throwing that, <laughs> but we got some avocado. <laughs> got this. This feels like the photo you showed us, where it's just every station, different workstations, yeah. different plants. This is the taro, one of the main uh, crops of Polynesia and of course Hawaii. We use all parts of it. Taro is actually one of the most sacred plants in Hawaii. I know it just looks like a random leaf, but let's go back to day one where Kamaka explained what makes it so special. The first Hawaiian came from the taro plant, Haloa. Formed, it was like a dead, um, stillborn child. So they buried it and that became the first taro plant. So, so that's why we have this connection the to the land because we are Haloa, we are part of the land. Roots of old taro are replanted to grow new taro. A lot of taro, taro. These ones that we're touching, we're touching from old Hawaii because you can't just store it in a freezer for a hundred years. Oh, let's grow some taro again. It's growing because it's 
been replanted and replanted for thousands of years. I'm so blown away by what we're walking through right now. This is this is like paradise. Oh, this is a stream. You're, you're gonna level up day three. Flip us off. Oh, my feet are so sensitive. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not used to this. This, this doesn't hurt your feet. No. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> we grew up on lava rock, so. Yeah, my feet are not used to this. <laughs> so we're gonna collect some of these and then I'm gonna show how we're gonna make a salad right on the spot here. Let's go explore. How's the feet, Mark? I need to condition my feet for this. <laughs> these are like the last 12 hours of my, you know, Hawaiian experience. So whatever. No, no, of your life. You're definitely not making it out of your life. Any test that you have for me, I need to, I need to pass it. So you tell me what I need to do. All right, okay. For my test, barefoot soldiers, that's the way to go. Okay. Follow your heart, follow your na'au, and your feet will follow. Oh, oh, that's... That's a good one right here. Even if you break some plants, it's yeah. just fine because it's like giving it a haircut. <laughs> How's your, is this your first jun jungle experience? I mean, kind of, yeah, like this. <laughs> Pick it yeah. up, food from the jungle, yeah. <laughs> a jungle is right. beach. I see one yeah. beach right here. <laughs> <laughs> you can appreciate like war when somebody's experiencing what you live daily, yeah. I feel like a lot of times we get spoiled. Like, you know, seeing a waterfall, or like we're so used to it, but somebody who hasn't seen it, they're like, wow, this is so cool. The final test is getting back across Ooh. without wincing. I have to look natural. <laughs> kind of like a deer, right? It's kind of like a... I don't think I passed. Seven out of ten. Yeah. That's a passing grade. Yeah, okay. Okay. This is so refreshing for me to be out in nature. Like, I'm so used to being on my phone, being on electronics every day, like thinking about emails and tasks and things like that. I mean, we do have to work, but... This feels like, I feel really present here. Just came out of the emu, Mr. Marky and himself. <laughs> did all the steps and provided, you know. Served by the master himself. Okay, <laughs> can you name everything on top oh, of there? Oh man. Uh, uh, this is poi, Japanese sweet potato, Kalua pig. Yes. Nice. Thank you. Is this the lao lao? Yes. No. Oh, and string beans and, and salad. Good job, yeah, you're passing you. all the tests. I, yeah, it's really connected with nature now. Yeah. Mix it all together. Mix it all together. This is the Kalua pig which we made in the emu. Mm -hmm. Last night, took it out this morning. Oh. <laughs> so if you eat something that's so good, we usually say we broke them out. Broke so them it's out. so good that it breaks your mouth. Oh, these are foods that we like made ourselves, you know? Oh, by hand. Picked, you know, picked you know. out. Doesn't it, doesn't it taste so much better when you know where it came from? You see the hard work that was put into it. Yeah. Yeah. What does it mean to be Hawaiian? Being Hawaiian is actually having that same love that you have for your family. But for the land and its resources yeah. as well. Oh. You guys, do you consider yourself American? That's um, a good question. That, yeah, that's. I don't mean. I'll film my answer. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Nah, uh, I wouldn't yeah. say I'm not American. I don't, yeah. I don't think I would say. Uh, if you want a black and white answer, I, I don't think I am. Yeah. And the majority of people we've asked, you know, said a similar answer. I mean, we're American by gunpoint. <laughs> you know, I if you don't know Hawaii's tragic past, it might be jarring to hear these blunt answers. So let me catch you up in just 14 seconds. 124 years ago, Spain was fighting America, and the US wanted to use Hawaii as a naval base. The Hawaiians said no, so the US government took over anyway. The result? Their queen was overthrown, the Hawaiian language was banned, and their culture was ripped away. I would hate to kind of um, devalue all the hard work and efforts of our kupuna and the people that you know existed for thousands of years and these practices for me to kind of conform into something that I wasn't necessarily born into. It's hard to consider myself or ourselves as American living in Hawaii, practicing our culture and traditions. It's just almost like I gave up on our original ethnicity or blood work. I want everyone else like you watching this to be able to to know how Hawaiian people feel, um, to learn about Hawaiian culture. The truth is a lot of us don't have access to just go to Hawaii and talk with locals here or go to other cities and countries that I'm able to. So I really want this to be a source of education and a, and a source of exposure. All right, well, Kamako, we gotta figure out what we're gonna do yeah. for the rest of the day. Yes, try to get in the water. Let's go, we're going but in the water. Whether that's whether that surfing or just cruising at the beach. I swear, if we sneak in a little surf session in here, that would be epic. Did you bring shorts? Yeah. All right, we're gonna check if there's some waves over here. Any waves over there? Yeah, small kind. Okay, I'm down for small waves. All right, we're going to uh, give surfing a shot. We don't know how the waves are gonna be, but why not just try it out and uh, see what happens. 
Now, I'm definitely not new to surfing, but I also have never surfed the waves of Hilo, Hawaii. If there was ever a time not to look like a howlay, it was now. Well, I'm actually nervous. I don't know if I'm going to catch any waves. The waves always look bigger when you get closer to them. to eat after surfing. The pole surf munchies. Oh my god. We forgot we had this. <laughs> We're having so much fun, I forgot I had my family obligations. We have a nice my family dinner. stepsisters, daughters, birthday. And what, what are we gonna do after? Uh, and then we're gonna go see the volcano. Oh. Yes, that's right. Volcanoes. I'm in Hawaii. I had to see some lava before I left. Ooh, oh my god. Okay. Well, at least the glow. We'll see how clear it is, but oh. yeah. Only in, in Big Island. <laughs> you. It's my friend Marky on. Hey, Hi. This is Sophia. I'm her favorite hey. uncle ever. No, you're not. So this is when you when you come places, you just like introduce yourself to everybody. Like even if you don't know him, you say hi to all the aunties and uncles. Yeah. I'm gonna follow your lead. So yeah. <laughs> you know them better than me. This is a birthday girl. Oh, happy birthday! How is she? She's just made one today. Wow, the first birthday. I never had this growing up. I yeah. never had a big family gathering. I was always like in another country traveling with my parents. So I envy these these moments. Yeah. Get this. Oh. <laughs> you can use the part. You can use the part. Okay, here I go. Okay. <laughs> this is the last night of the 72 hour challenge. Happy birthday! We're heading out to the volcano. This is gonna be, this is big. So, is that, is that the time, 9.30? Yeah, 9.30. It's 9.30 and we are on the way to the volcano. What a surprise ending. We got Ku driving the pack. Are we gonna see lava? Hopefully, that's so the goal. Most of the times, if like, it's a clear night, you can see the glow. You can see the, the lava glow. Wow. This is the entrance to the volcano. Volcano National Park. Yeah, Volcano National Park. One of the seven wonders in the world. Really? No. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it is dark in here. I got the flashlight. Yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> we need yeah, the flashlight. Mine too. <laughs> wow. So we're starting our walk to yeah. uh. It says it's about a mile. Yeah. <laughs> Let's adventure. I'm I'm pretty tired, so this will, this will wake me up a little bit <laughs> yeah. too. Yeah. It's been a long day. Yeah. We've been up since like six. Yeah. And it's 10 p.m. right now. But it's worth it. We're making the most out of our <laughs> yeah, our 72 day. hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Lava? It's lava. That's lava. We're, yeah. we're gonna see lava in right now. The flesh. Oh Just my. don't fall in or your flesh oh. will be gone. Wait, is this like the middle of the volcano or like a side of it? Uh, it's like a, a crater. A crater. I didn't capture it fully, but you can see that glow in the dark. Oh yeah, so like 2018, when the volcano erupted, we uh, just started like 
just like cracks in the floor and all of a sudden lava just started coming like closer to town even like if you were like in town like where we were like KO, you could see the glow because like the, the lava was coming there's this place called champagne um champagne ponds all gone now from the lava i can never take my kids there you know yeah. it's just gone forever yeah i see it bubbling up a little i think it's pretty cool <laughs> i'm gonna leave in a week so <laughs> i don't have to face any consequences but no this is really cool i've never seen lava before yeah, another full day. Oh, 11? Yeah. Oh, what the heck? <sighs> okay, I'm so tired. <sighs> Man, that surfing really knocked me out. We are at the last couple hours of our 72 hour challenge. Let's see how we're gonna end this day. Good morning. Good morning. Wait, you're still here? I thought you left already. We're at hour 70, 70. <laughs> wow, it is a, this is a really nice morning. Thank you for being sunny. <laughs> We're on our way to the Merry Monarch Parade. We're gonna see all the culture celebrated in this one parade, the colors that... I'm like, <laughs> it's okay. I'm speaking about it as if I've been there, but I don't know what to expect. Hey, hey. Good morning, man. Thanks for coming out here. All right, we're setting up the tents and the chairs for the parade. What's the best thing about the Mary Monarch Festival? It's the perpetuation of the culture, of the Ha. You notice Hawaii, the Ha is the breath of life. Yes. And yeah. that's what we celebrate. All right, I think it's starting. If you look over there at the Chevy Mustang and the Ford Mustang, that's a traditional way the Hawaiians used to go around the island. Wow. Yeah. In the, in the 17th century? In the 16th century, oh, actually, 16th before century. we were discovered by Captain Cook. Oh my God. Yeah, we were actually the first one with Ford Mustangs. Uh, what an honor to see this in, in person. Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, just don't Google it. This is kind of like Mardi Gras in New Orleans, except with the meaning that people know about. What actually is Mardi Gras? Hey, how do you describe Mardi Gras? Oh, what is this? What is this? I guess this is our version of Mardi Gras. <laughs> Academia. At least they don't throw it at you and yeah, you have to yeah, protect yeah. yourself. That was a beautiful lay on the horse. Why put it on the, the horse? Why put a lay on the horse? Because if you have a regular horse without a lay, it's not as cool. What you just saw is a native Hawaiian tradition of the push-up. I don't know if you've ever seen it before. Yeah, I'm learning so much. Wow. Yeah, you thought you were done learning, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna, only just beginning. I'm gonna take this back and show everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, Shana So these are the horses that represent each of the islands. The outfits are all beautiful here. Hey, you want to know if we're, we think we're American? <laughs> yeah, look at the sign. <laughs> so I'm just sitting here with the family and it feels so nice to just be in this community. And it's something that I, I never really experienced as a third culture kid, is this sense of like, my people. And here it seems like it is that. So I feel really grateful to be able to be part of this experience. I think we have one more hour left to this 72 hour challenge and it's gonna end in an epic way. So let's see if we're gonna do that. All right, it seems like the parade is over and we're off to our final adventure. Oh wow. That's crazy. Is that the last test to jump off of that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool, adventuring through the jungle. So you'd be one with the Aina. Is, it, is this a, a, a cue for me to take off my No, surgery? no, you can leave it on. No. I just like, I, I like to go bare feet. Ooh. Is this lava rock? Everything's off or off. We're gonna go across. We're, we're gonna walk across? Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Woo! Nice and fresh. Adventuring barefoot is where I feel most like an outsider. Like, I'm just not good at this. Yeah, that's just showing off. I'm trying to fit in with the locals. Okay. Right. Waiting for you. <laughs> I also have no idea where we're going to, so. Come on, we're waiting for you. <laughs> your feet can get used to it or my feet are gonna be forever like this. I think it could get used to it. Yeah. I was nervous as to where Kamako was taking me but I knew it was gonna be an epic ending to this three-day series. It's been a transformational trip that changed the way I see Hawaii. After making a lei, getting my first aloha shirt, eating and laughing with uncles and aunties, I realized Hawaii is so much more than what we see in the media. I came here for episode two of my American series where I'm discovering what it means to be American. And Hawaii has taught me a darker side of American history, but a side with deep roots that we have so much to learn from. A side that lives through its sufferings and deserves to be celebrated with so much strength and joy. Hawaii has taught me how to live with aloha. 
a word that means so much more than just hello. A word that embodies a spirit, a mindset, a way of life where your purpose is to support your community and give back all the goodness that was gifted to you. As I approach the edge of this scary cliff, I hope this series has enlightened you to what it really means to be American. Because the more we understand each other, the more we accept and come together. Oh wow, this is nice. This is your reward. This is where we sacrifice your body. Where, where uh, we, we hang out and uh, share our feelings and emotions. Before I jump off the cliff, what would be like an ending message that you want people to take away from this video? I just hope that people can grow in appreciation for Hawaiian culture and an understanding. I think that's the main thing, you know, and just treat everybody with aloha and then the, hopefully that aloha comes back to you. And if it doesn't, at least you chose aloha. How do you say smile again? Minoaka. 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 Is it? It's my last test. All right, remember, don't hand in Woo! so you don't slap. Ekolu, elua, ekahi, aloha, and ahoy ho! And that was the last we've ever seen of Marchion.